to the search and rescue efforts for flood victims in eastern Kentucky. Emergency crews are still struggling to reach hard hit areas and they have not located dozens of people. Thousands remain without power or water, causing the concern to now shift from rain to extreme heat. Temperatures soaring into the 90s starting tomorrow. ABC's Eva Pilgrim is in Kentucky. Tonight, the desperation growing for families across eastern Kentucky. You're good on your medicine. We were with the Department of Fish and Wildlife Resources as they went door to door in Perry County, conducting wellness checks and delivering food and water to residents. Thank you all, you all, for helping. Yes, sir, that's what we're here to do. Right now, what we're seeing is just need for everything, just your common uh, needs of water, electric, food, poultry, everything, just stuff that we take for granted. They're needing right now in the worst of way. Across this part of the state, the need is great. And now, a new threat. What will feel like triple-digit heat starting tomorrow. And I know you may be out there working to salvage whatever you can, but be really careful Wednesday and Thursday when it gets hot. Thousands remain without power. The state now opening up cooling centers. Especially for our seniors and those who are otherwise fragile. Uh, we need to make sure we get them to a cool place. And most of the people I've talked to tell me they don't have flood insurance. Most of these areas were not in flood zones. And you can see the damage. The homes completely destroyed. Everything they had gone. Rebuilding is going to be hard. Lindsay. Relief is necessary on so many fronts, Eva. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.